Okay, this is the newbie versus the OG quiz. What's my middle name? No, I don't no, know your middle name I'll either. I'll let me make one up. Okay. Donna. No, it's Marguerite. It's a way Marguerite. better than. Marguerite. It's my grandmother's name. Oh. Yeah. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Joy, and we're going to be interviewing each other for the 5,000th show at The View. Now, let's get things started. Okay, Joy. Yeah. Congratulations on our, but it's really more your 5,000th show. Oh, God. You've been here the entire time. Not um, really. I don't like to bring up the time they fired you because that's a dark time. It was not a dark time. A dark it was time. a very bright time for me. <laughs> it was a dark time for the show. It's a dark time for the show. Yeah. I don't like the idea of the show without you. Why do you think the show took such a nosedive when you weren't here? <laughs> I I'm think serious. It, with all due respect to, to myself, it wasn't just that. It also had to do with the way they changed the topics and they made it, they made different, I don't know what they did, something. I wasn't watching it. They did something else to the show that wrecked it. Oh. It wasn't just getting rid of me, although that was a big part of it, I it's guess. A huge disaster for everyone. <laughs> Why has the show lasted so long and been so successful? I think it's because of the fact that we're unpredictable, that people don't know what we're gonna say. I think that's the main factor, unlike reality shows that mm -hmm. are all scripted. We're not scripted. Who would you play to, uh, pick to play me in a movie, and who would you pick to play you in a movie? Oh. Um, for you, I would say Scarlett Johansson. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't think she she's good it. for you. For me, at the age I am now or when I was younger? Anything you want. People say I look like Bette Midler, but I don't want her playing me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, <laughs> Julianne Moore, like some oh, pretty redhead. For me? Yeah. Wow. Like some, who's the woman that was in Molly's Game? She's like a huge actress, an Academy Award winner. Jessica Chastain. Chastain. Those girls are not my type. I would say Marissa Tomei. I love Marissa yeah, Tomei. Yeah, more like that. That's a good one. Well, Scarlett Johansson's not my type either. No, but she, mm. you sort of, I th maybe you it's both the, have big boobs, it's, it's fine. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we had matching Halloween costumes this year. Oh, yeah. Joy and Megan are the Grady sisters. We liked it because depending on if you are a Democrat coming on the show or Republican coming on the show, Joy or I are your worst nightmare. What are some ideas for us to do together next year? Oh, well, what about Kellyanne and her husband? George Conway? George Conway. I don't want to be George. You can be George. I'll be, I'll be okay. Kellyanne, but I might have to get a facelift. I think she had some surgery <laughs> recently. <laughs> She looks a little different. Her eyes, she doesn't have those bags under her eyes anymore. What is the one thing you want the public to know about our relationship? That we like each other. They keep writing things about how we can't stand each other. It really hurts my feelings. It genuinely yeah. hurts my feelings because our dressing rooms are next door to each other and you and I have the same emotional reactions to things, sometimes in different ways, but yeah. we're both upset equally, the equal amount of the same things. And I wish people would give us a break. Well, the real. thing about the two of us is, and you often say this too, is that we really mean it. Yes. What we're saying, we really mean it. Yes. It's not an act. <laughs> no. We don't sugarcoat it. No. We go right, and that's what we have in common. And I think that there's mutual respect for that. Yes, and that you're a true believer in your ideology, and I'm a true believer in mine. Yes. And, and um, we're both becoming a little bit more, um, not moderate, but we've sort of become, I don't know what the word is, like we're not so adamant about our positions. Like today I was talking about how, you know, I, I, I think a moderate needs to win the election mm -hmm. to beat Trump. Mm -hmm. And I think that, uh, originally I would say I wanted Elizabeth Warren to win because she was new stuff and she was exciting. But I'm not sure that she could pull it off. So now I'm in reality again. And I think that you have changed your positions a little bit, mm -hmm. moderated them. I modified. understand the other side a lot clearer than when I was working at Fox. Yeah. Obviously, that just happens when you're around a different environment. And um, I trust you with the, sh I trust being on air with you, mm -hmm. which takes time, which is why they shouldn't be firing either of us anytime soon. Thank They're not gonna see. fire us, are you um, kidding? <laughs> but I trust being on air with you in very serious topics and intense topics and things that are hard to talk about, which that only comes over time. But Oops. I wish people would give us a break too because I just, I don't think men would be subjected to the same kind of you and I are subjected to. But remember to. something, mm -hmm. people like it that we argue. They like that, oh, yeah. but they like conflict. If we agreed on everything, how boring would we it be? We don't agree on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not, there's a few things. A couple of things, yeah. Now, how many times during the show do you feel like reaching out and strangling me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Tell the truth. No, I don't Never. feel that way. Good. I don't feel that way. I can't even remember the last, honestly, we fight so much, I forget, like, and then I just move on right after. For a long time, yeah, but then okay. you're talking about the Trump but supporters. But I'm trying to explain okay, so why 2020 is not in the bag here's, for you. But it's here's not. The, here's the, the, the okay, hand? guys, okay, okay. <laughs> 
it's our job to have debates. And what's the point of being like nice? I also like that you're not trying to be the sweet girl and I'm not trying to be the sweet girl no. either. We're not trying to be loved by everybody. No. That's also why we get along. It's very important when you're on television, and I noticed that the most likable people do not want to be loved. I don't want to be loved by everybody. The people who people like in, let's say, in in the cinema even, mm -hmm. are people who just do the part. They mm -hmm. don't want you to like them. There must be something that I do that annoys you. Sometimes you're so rigid on issues, but I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate having a good sparring partner, and I appreciate that I think we represent the two polar opposites in the country and that it's healthy. There's no other place on all of television you see two women like us debating the issues. And I think that's really important and I always respect you. And this isn't just, I, they wouldn't put us in front of a camera if it weren't authentic because neither of us can anything no, at that's, all. It's hard, it's hard I, to do. I don't know, you also, I will say this, I've been doing this only two and a half years. This job is so hard in every, and it, again, I know we're not like digging ditches or in Afghanistan, but it's a yeah. very challenging job. <laughs> yeah. And I respect that you've done it so long. You're a TV icon, you're beloved by our audience. Not all and of them. A lot of them. Many people can't stand you. me. I read Twitter sometimes. I don't read Twitter. I see what they say about people me. People love you. <laughs> but, so. but you know, it, it, you say it's a hard job, but you know, Anna Navarro said one day, <laughs> You guys take this too seriously. You know, they put clothes on you, they put your makeup, they do your hair, they give you research. Like when she does the show at CNN, she has to do all of that by herself. Mm -hmm. So in that way, it's an easier job. That's a fair yeah. point. But it's the emotional mm -hmm. investment is what you're saying I think is if tough. I could detach more, yeah. I think it would be easier, but I'm incapable of that. And I'm sick of being told it's impossible. Well, some days I do. I can do You are good. You're better at it. I'm than getting I am. to be better at it. Yeah. I told you, you need a hobby off the air. No. Something that can't interests you life. as much as politics. No, but nothing does. You it's have to find it. Or I you know. have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I listen to you. Let me just mm -hmm. finish. <laughs> yeah, part of your job is to listen to me. <laughs> What's the hardest part of this job? Getting a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> Not. That's not nearly the hardest part of the job. That is one of That's the hardest. That's your hardest part? I think so, yeah. I think it's like, you have to learn. I always say this is a volleyball game. Yeah. It's not a golf game. Am I a good volleyball player? You you have become so good at it. You're like a gem now. Okay, good. You know? Yeah. Okay. But that's the whole thing. But I key. used to be really bad. Well, you didn't know how to do the volleyball game in the beginning. You were playing your own game. But now you know, because it's like bang the ball around, yeah. you know? Yeah, you're quick at, You're quick with your time. And also get in and get out. Don't, don't yeah. hold the ball for 10 hours. Yeah, you do that very well. You have to do that. So what's the hardest part of the job for you? This is a very hard job. You think it's an easy job? <laughs> no, it's hard. It's, it's very hard. hard. What's um, hard about it? I think because you and I are so emotionally invested in the topics, I get very upset or happy or it's like lots of intense emotions on this mm -hmm. show. And part of it is like the political climate we're in and part of it is just the nature of the show. Uh, getting booed is very hard. I, I, I'm still not used to it. I don't like oh. it when the audience does that. What do you want America to know about The View and the 5,000th episode? 5,000 episodes is so long. It's a long time. It's almost up there with Regis. Coming up next, it's live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Is that how long were they on? Or are Year, they on? forever, it yeah. seemed. Yeah. And he, uh, people would come and go with him, but he always stayed. Do you think the show will always be on the air? No. Oh. No, this show will not always be okay. in the air. No. First of all, climate change will destroy us anyway. So no, it's we not will funny, not. I just <laughs> Yeah, it is. No, it's not funny. But I uh, no, I don't think I don't think any show says on the air forever. Except Jerry Springer, he's still there. Well, if you rotate the cast out, yeah. then maybe Well but... they always said this is a franchise, this yeah. show. Yeah. And uh, you just it will exist. But it really I don't know if that's true. I think that the, the this particular group has a lot of good chemistry. Yes, that we it have does. Now. If you don't have a good chemistry, the show will go off the air. But I also think we've been through a lot in the Trump years, and I think it's like this specific moment in time makes us all bond together because right. this show is such triggers for the left and the right, and people go crazy for all of us, and I think you have to be in a team together. That's right. how I feel. That's true. I do know that he's certainly it's helped the media. It's a phony scam. It's a hoax. Okay, this is the newbie versus the OG quiz. This is oh. kind of hard, though. When's my birthday? Um, is it soon? It's, I... it's close to, we have this, we're similar. We're like, we're all like Libra Scorpio women. You're, oh, yeah, your you're right birthday. before mine. It was last week. Yeah, you're yes. right before mine. I'm October 7th, what are you? 23rd. Yeah, yeah. we're right near each other. Yeah, right. okay. What college did I attend? Columbia. I knew that. That's it? That's, I think that's it. Here's right? my newbie quiz for you. <laughs> okay. How many seasons have there been of The View? 23? Yes, that's okay. right. What was the year The View first aired? I don't even know 1997? 
I think it was set 97 and 98. It's 97. I don't even know. Okay. She's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Which host has sat at the table for the most number? Of, well, no, you know that answer. You. Yeah, that's me. Can You're you the name, OG. Yeah. That's the whole point. Can you name seven former View hosts, not including the current table? There are thousands of us, so <laughs> I don't know. No. Come on. Lisa Ling. Okay. Love, Barbara One. Walters. Two. Oh my God. There's been so many. Paula Ferris. Three. Uh, Sarah Haynes. Four. Three more only. Go back. Three more. Go back. Meredith Vieira. Five. Two more. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell. Six. Rosie Perez. Seven. There you go. Is that seven? Okay. Oh, uh, I did it. Okay. Which, Thank you. Which former co host went on to host a major morning news show? Meredith Vieira. She did. Right? Yes. Yeah. Now, you know, I want to tell you something. The day that she left, I cried. That was the only time I've ever cried on this show. What? I cried because she was my only pal. She Am was I my your pal. pal now? Yes, you're my pal now. You are. Would you cry if she I was? Left? She was my friend. I cried that day. She's a lovely person. She is a great. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. How would you rank this table? Because you've had so many tables of like how good you think it is in comparison. I Nothing will ever compare to Elizabeth when she was here. But regarding what? Just like how good the table was. That was like the glory. You love that table. I love that table. I love that table with you and Sherry and Elizabeth and Rosie O'Donnell and Barbara Walters. Really? Isn't that? Yeah, I loved it. Uh -huh. But that's like when I was in college and I watched all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a movie that's. Why. I can see that a very contentious year. <laughs> <laughs> People probably consider this a contentious year. They've always been like that. It is what it is. People come, they put us at the table and they say, have at it. Yeah. And Are we you do. surprised I've lasted over two seasons? No, I knew you would last because you, what? you, you have energy. We need energy on this show. You. you know, you want people to watch. How much do you want to strangle me sometimes? Just when you talk about guns. <laughs> That's the only thing. That's the only thing I can't get through. No, an you. abortion. That's when everyone gets the most mad at me. Abortion makes them mad at you more? The most mad, yeah. And guns. Guns, that's the one. Because this AR-15 thing has got to stop. <laughs> and you know it. No. Yes, you do. Stop it. I don't know what my takeaway is, but um, when you're not here, I hate the show. I oh. mean, I really have a hard, as everyone knows, I have a really hard time when I can't fight with you. I really enjoy it. <laughs> I really enjoy being friends with you. You're really funny. I like, you always make me laugh on the show. I'm really very, and sincerely, I'm very grateful that you're on the show with me and My you goodness. have all the answers. I do, I love Joy, I oh, really. Oh, that's so Because sweet. neither of us put up with <laughs> neither of us care about being loved, and both of us don't want our husbands on the show every day. That's good, How so we'll that? see, we have a lot in common. We don't drag our husbands out like props, Neither of us do that. No, my husband, he thinks he's Howard Hughes. It's like, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he never shows up he on the show, ever. I know, mine neither. And yours either. But yours is a TV personality. But he he's not going to come to the show. No. I, it's weird. I, he's not like, they're not our accessories. I don't need, like, I'm married. It's fine. It's right. like, you're married to Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't well, come on the show. Well, I've learned that your middle name is Marguerite. Mm -hmm. That's that pretty? so pretty and very Thank Spanish. You. Thank you. It's my mom's mom. And grandma's name, the 108 year old. She's Roberta. Which oh, that's Roberta? Beautiful. Roberta's yeah. not as good as Marguerite. <laughs> I don't like Roberta because it's really Robert and then uh. Like my real name is Josephine. Joseph and then Fiend. Yeah. It's really not a right thing to call a girl by a boy's name and then add something to Her it. twins named Rowena. Roberta Who's Rowena? and Rowena. My Ro grandmother's Roberta twin. and Rowena. Mm -hmm. Ah, two R's. <laughs> All right, Dad. And I mother. learned I learned that you and I agree on a lot of stuff. We do. We, and I knew that before, but I you confirmed it. I just appreciate that whenever something happens breaking in the news and I'm upset, I can always count on you being upset. That's too. true. You get as emotional as I do, and everyone else is calm and measured and looking for the bright side. And we both think the apocalypse is slowly coming. <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> Any day now. So you can catch all of this wonderful yeah. talk on The View. We should just have our own show. If you want to see more of this but louder, child, go <laughs> tune into The and View. And with more interruptions. And with more interruptions and being played out by music on yeah. occasion. Check out The View every weekday at 11. Yes. We like this because we're, we're a team. <laughs>